Alright guys, welcome to this Suncoast software video tutorial on WPF. And in this short video, we're going to take a look at uh, working with styles within our application. And the focus on this is how we can save our styling so that we can use it throughout our application. And the way we do that is by... Uh, coming up with the style, so if you want to do like, if you spend time in your brushes panel and your properties, and you want to get the right colors for your window, for example, then you might want to use that throughout your applications throughout other windows. Maybe you want to incorporate that style, that same styling into um, rectangles or any other controls without having to redo it over and over and over again. So we're going to do that by converting our style into what's called a resource. And the resource is, uh, think of it as like a container or toolbox where, you know, and if we want to use a resource from our container or from our bucket, we could just go ahead, go into that container, grab that style, and apply it. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use, I'm going to grab two rectangle controls. And I'll grab one more. Okay, so we got our two rectangle controls. Now, we're going to spend some time inside of our brushes panel here. Okay, so for our fill, that's going to be our background color. And instead of it being a solid color, we're going to make it a gradient color. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on gradient. And then let's choose, let's choose some colors to work with. like a light blue to maybe a lighter blue then maybe we'll put one more in here for like a cyanish color and maybe I'll shift that over here Okay, and then maybe we'll apply stroke color to it. There we go. Okay, so here's our style of our new rectangle or panel, whatever it is that you want to call it. So now we're going to convert this into our uh, a resource. Okay, so for our fill, we're going to click on fill, and beside it, we're going to have a little, a uh, little box or a little check box, whatever it is that you want to call it. Go ahead, we'll click on that, and we're going to convert this to a new resource. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on that, and then we'll give it a name. So let's call it panel background, and going to define it in our application. We'll try that. Go ahead, we'll click OK. And you can see that it's put it into our uh, resources. So now to get to your resources, okay, so if you click on brush, you'll have your solid color here. If you go to the end here, click on resources, here's where you can find the resource that you just uh, just created. Okay, so now let's go to our second panel and we'll click on our resource, click on panel background, and you can see that we have our panel background. Now, <coughs> see that we got the black stroke color instead of our 
blue stroke color and that's because we didn't convert our stroke color either and this could be handy if you want to apply gradients to your border colors as well uh, if you spend a little bit of time in there or if you want to get the exact color then it would also be uh, be handy to convert as well so we'll go ahead we'll convert that to a new resource as well and we'll call it panel border and we'll define it in the application and we'll click OK okay so now if we click on our second panel we have our black stroke here let's go to our resources and we'll click on panel border and you can see that our color is updated okay so now that we got those two out of the way let's go ahead we'll remove those and let's apply this to our window let's see if we can apply that same stall to our window it's going to allow transparency just to get rid of that and we'll go into our brushes click our background and then we'll go into our brush resources and we'll click panel background if we go into our border brush, we can do the same thing, go into our resources, choose panel border, and that'll give our border color. And that's pretty much all there all there is to it. Um that's just working in the brushes. Uh if we want to go to transform and if we want to um do the same thing uh, we can convert new resources from our transformation so if you want to have all rectangles or all windows be transformed the same way uh, then we can convert that to a resource and use that as well so I hope this video has helped you uh, just a short video on how you can uh, convert your theme or your styles to resources so that you can use them throughout your application without having to redo the gradients or the colors uh, throughout every every object or every uh, every window hope you like this video if you guys found this video useful in any way uh, don't forget to like this video smash up that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe every time you subscribe uh, you'll be notified of a new video that we release. Thanks for watching this video on yeah, how to convert styles to resources. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or send me a private message and one of us will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.